and welcome to my channel and if you're new welcome today we have a special guest my sister here with me we Hi. already did a video when she for the first time applied makeup on somebody else and that was me and this is the result so if you want to see that go check it out but today right here right now in this video we're going to show you a, around five six products that really didn't work for, for us it yeah. kind of was a they were yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. disappointment or we there are maybe great products maybe something works great for you and it's wonderful for you but for us it just didn't work and we want to share our opinions and tell you why we think that because of course for someone those products do work but for our skin combinated skin a little bit more oily during the summer I, th I find my skin a little bit more drier especially around my nose during the winter i don't know if you feel that too yeah i think i have combinated to oily skin but during the winter i also feel that my skin is more combinated to dry but through the summer when it's summer and when it's hot outside it's always combinated to the oily and my t-zones are always so oily okay so you can begin with one of your products yes and i will start with something that i don't hate it's not a bad product it just didn't work for me but strange enough even if we are twins this product works very good on her so if it didn't work for me it doesn't mean it doesn't work on someone else and this is the NYX Wonder Stick contour uh, stick I think you've seen this it's two-ended on one side it's the highlighter and on the other side is the bronzer what I like about this is that this bronzer it's not uh, a warm bronze it's kind of cool bronzer so it's not orange as you can see it's very good but when you blend it in I'm blending it it just kind of disappears on my skin it doesn't exist it's not a bad product it's not oily it's creamy it doesn't give any sheen as you can see you don't see any oiliness so it's a great product for combinated to oily skin but on my skin that doesn't show the same thing with this highlight i'm using highlight on now let me screw back this bronzer so this contour now i'm using this white shade and it feels so creamy not oily just creamy but now i'm blending it in and on my skin <laughs> gone it just now i'm pale so it's hard to see but it's just like you don't see it. It doesn't give. It doesn't bright out. Uh, brights the under eye or anywhere where I want to bright, brighten it a little bit. So, for me, it did not work. From one of my friends, she loves it. She's been through three or four of these. She bites them all the time. That's the only thing that she loves for contouring. For me, it does not work. I always try trying this before, and for her, it worked amazing. Uh, on her skin, it shows up beautifully. So she's going to get this from me. Thank you. Sorry, battery died, so we had to change it. Okay, now to me, one of the products that didn't work for me, it's this Echo Tools Makeup Brush Shampoo. This is the worst shampoo that I bought, that I tried. I hate it. It really doesn't wash my brushes or beauty blenders or beauty sponges. It just, I had to take a lot of the product to maybe, to just, get a brush clean and for me that's kind of weird I want to have this shampoo for a long time but I almost used like one or third the bottle just to wash them once and I just found it that it doesn't clean as good as I would like it to so I don't know I just kind of feels like it doesn't work it says here removes more than 90% of makeup I would rather say most 30 percent the rest is still on the brush and i kind of feel like it's a little bit oily i just don't like it i just don't like it, it didn't br wash my brushes as some other shampoos did so this one didn't work for my brushes i know or beauty sponges either did you try it no i didn't try it but the bottle looks kind of pretty now one of my least favorite products that I have here is this All About Eyes concealer from Clinique. 
you all know that this brand is not very cheap and this concealer wasn't one of the cheapest one wasn't that um, affordable but the quality is so bad this creases under my eyes just after one hour and I don't like it at all when it comes to coverage it's not full coverage it's kind of medium so light coverage but this concealer guys it looks like full coverage on my hand but I don't know if you can see why I'm blending in it's kind of patchy uh, it's streaky I don't know if you can see it the camera doesn't show it correctly but just and it feels kind of greasy and just after one it's hour tricky. Why you blend it? it? It looks like you just moved the product around. Yeah, that's it's tricky. That's how it feels. It that doesn't stay on your face. It gets in your fine lines. I really regret purchasing this product. I will throw it away. I don't recommend it to anyone. Uh, I know that Clinique has another one, uh, but I'm not sure how that one works. This one, nah, not for me. Okay, so. <laughs> I bought this product for a couple of months and I was very excited to try them and I know I did a video I think it was on a um, haul video that I did and sh uh, that I showed you these products now I use them a couple of months and I can really give my full reviews I'm talking about and uh, now I'm cheating I'm showing you two products but you have to excuse me <laughs> uh, bare minerals I, I want to show you this brilliant future age difference and renew serum and True Ace is oil-free re <laughs> replenish replenishing gel cream. That was hard to pronounce. pronounce. Yes. Um, now, as you can see, I almost used it. used it all, and this is also almost empty. I don't know if you can see it. Just a little bit of it left. When I first applied them, when I used them, maybe two. Three weeks it worked okay I didn't saw any results I did feel like my um, area around my nose did was wasn't as dry as usual this is kind of like a gel so this this works really good for my oily parts of the face but they made me break out terrible I don't know if you watched any of my other videos but <laughs> maybe you can see that I got a lot of breakouts around here and I had a couple of them under my eyes and it was while I was using this so I tried to not use them a couple of weeks and my, I got my face as normal as I could and then I said I wanted to try them again just to see and be sure if this is really my face just look really ugly and it did it did so I'm kind of disappointed because these are wonderful and they got a lot of reviews and I this is something that YouTube made me buy. I just felt like it really didn't do so much for my skin and it made me break out. So I don't know, if you have sensitive skin maybe you should be a little bit careful but you can watch other videos, many people like this but for me it didn't work, sorry. Now I have a primer here that did not work for me at all and this is by Isadora Undercover uh, Face Primer and here at the back it says use other foundation for flawless and long lasting makeup or alone for a natural look for all skin types. Now for my combinated to oily skin it's not a bad product, it's not a bad concealer it's kind of thick as you can see it's kind of creamy but it just when I see it doesn't feel like a silicone based primer I don't know if it is but it does not feel like it and has no sense to it a little bit it doesn't feel heavy on the skin but it's not long lasting guys it's really not I have other primers that work better than this from drugstore this one just didn't work for me I feel like just after four hours foundation from my nose some parts on my chin my forehead is gone I don't think it's not a bad product but on my skin it just doesn't work so yeah 
Okay, now to another brand that I really really like and I have a couple of products that I love and one of them just didn't work for me and this is the Royal Body Oil from Maria Åkeberg, it's a Swedish brand and this is a very good oil for your skin you could use it during the pregnancy or after or during uh, when your skin is kind of dry or something I have very bad dry skin on my legs really and I tried this one and it, the smell is very nice but my skin for some reason doesn't seek it in you know it doesn't drink it this oil just sets like a top on my skin and it doesn't skin doesn't absorb it it just stays like a I don't know like a top on it I don't know it just stays there and doesn't move and it feels a little bit oily and tacky so I kind of didn't like it now I almost use everything because I'm using another product that I want to do a review of and this oil works great for that so I'm going to explain you in the future what product that is so for that product this works but as moisturizer for my skin really dry skin on my legs just stays on top of my skin it doesn't sink in and feels a little bit sticky so I'm kind of disappointed I heard a lot of good things about this product but I love other products from Maria Okebad really like them but this one just didn't work for my skin now I have uh, two products here, one that I don't like and one that I like just for comparison uh, and it's mascara. I'm so hard when it comes to mascaras. This is from Isadora. I have nothing against Isadora. I love their eyeshadows, their other products, but the primer didn't work and this mascara, that's a build-up mascara, extra volumizing, 100% uh, waterproof. For my oily lids, <laughs> waterproof what it's just a question mark waterproof no not really it's just smearing everywhere this is not, this mascara does not work for me now when it comes to mascaras i'm so picky i'm so hard because one of my absolute favorites they have been using for years and years and years i'm still glad they are selling this mascara you all know this l'oreal mascara from um, double extension now this i hate now the reason why i bought this mascara is because i've been using this like i said for ages and i feel like i need to try something else uh, this can be only mascara that works that i'm happy with and uh, i'm enjoying it and i did buy this one and some other mascaras and this didn't work for me it, I heard that it works for many other people, it's, they feel like it's waterproof, that it doesn't smudge under their eyes or anything. For me, it smudged under my eyes, just after a couple hours. But like I said, I'm really, I have combinated to oily skin, during the summer it's more oily. And uh, for my eye primer, I always have to set my eye primer because I have my eyeshadow everywhere and my eyeliner everywhere so I, I'm really picky when it comes to mascara so for me this didn't didn't work but this baby is still on my one of my favorite and if you have anything to recommend for me that works like this one uh, please 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 write down below I'm really really I really want to try something else like you said this has a white primer that you put on your eyelashes and the other side it's the mascara that you put on after this white base and it works like a tube mascara if you know tube mascara it's the one that goes you take this off with warm water and it's like small tubes falling from your eyelashes so you this one doesn't disappear anywhere if you cry if it's rain if you're sweating the only thing that you can take this off it's warm water not even some of the face cleansers so I love it now I'm going to show you a mascara that didn't work for me and it's this Maybelline the push-up drama push-up what? I mean this is the worst mascara that I tried it's I'm sorry it just it felt like I didn't have anything on my eyelashes I don't know it's kind of too watery and it doesn't make them longer it doesn't give you volume doesn't give you color 
doesn't give you anything so I'm sorry but I really really don't like this mascara and one of my friends tried it too and she didn't like it also now for my last product it's from a brand that I really really love and it's this ultra uh, strobe balm from Makeup Revolution now you guys don't know me but my sister knows that Makeup Revolution is one of my top three favorite brands from drugstore I love almost everything I own all I heart makeup palettes, I love Makeup Revolution, I have their lipsticks, they are great. Uh, I love the brand. But this strobing balm, Euphoria, 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 how you say? This oh. strobing balm, it's kind of um, duochrome. It has like two shades, if you can see. It's, it's a beautiful. cream product. Uh, now, cream product for my skin doesn't always work like I said I have combined it to oily skin and cream product just gets my face very messy but it's not problem with this with this balm the only problem I have with this balm I don't know how to apply it because on my skin if I just tap it off it just feels like on some places more the other places is less and if I try to do like this then it feels like it takes my foundation off and if I'm using the brush it just doesn't look even on my face just it doesn't work on me I really love the color I really love this two chromy feel reflect on it oh, I don't know if you can see on the camera but I really love this balm I really want to work for me but it just did not work for my face I own that too but I think I use it twice or three times and I kind of but that was during the winter, so my skin was a little bit more dry and did it work, but I applied it with my fingers. Yeah, on me that just that doesn't work. I'm so sad. <laughs> Sorry Makeup Revolution, otherwise I really love you. <laughs> I'm going to, okay, now I'm going to cheat again. Sorry, <laughs> I couldn't. Like I always. <laughs> I have so many products and I really want to show you the things that didn't work for me. So I'm going to show you two different cleansing products this first one I showed you in my it's kind of really dirty and I almost used everything <laughs> this is the truffle therapy cleansing oil and this doesn't take off my makeup it really does I almost used everything because I have to use at least five or six um, cotton pads with this on and it still doesn't take off all the makeup. I have to use other cleansing products just to get rid of the makeup on my face. And I think for cleansing oil, this, uh, this should do the job. And I always use two different cleansing products because I like that. But for my first cleansing product that I use, I want it to take the most of my makeup off. And the second is just something that I will refresh my skin or I don't know if you if you know what I mean but I was hoping for this product to do more than it did and it's kind of disappointed so I'm not going to finish this one I wanted to show you uh, to share my opinions with you but I don't like this at all at all it, it leaves my f skin also a little too oily and it feels strange really feels strange and the second cleanse, uh, cleansing product is this Nivea Nivea cleansing wipes I love their products and I like other cleansing wipes but this this one I uh, this was this is for normal skin this made my fails feel really yeah burning sensation when I was using this and it felt very shock it's empty because I was cleaning my hands when I did swatches that's how I used of everything because I didn't want to put this on my face from the first time because it felt t terrible it felt terrible and it also didn't remove all of my ma makeup and I feel this is kind of strange because it's no pr no alcohol in it but it felt like my face was very sore so I didn't like it doesn't sound very good <laughs> no I like other uh, Nivea's cleansing wipes but this for normal skin 
with vitamin E didn't work. It felt strong. I don't know if that was my face or my skin. I don't think so because as I used other cleansing wipes when this wasn't working and it felt okay. So I think it's the product. I think it's the product. <laughs> Well guys, that was everything we had for you in this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget, forget to subscribe. If you want to see more of us two together, give a thumbs up for this video. Thank you so much and see you in my next video. Bye! Bye!